it's a beautiful Monday morning. It's a half hour before noon. I was going to meet the either pick up or meet the ring man at the land of Nada. Beaver, he's back in town. He's been in Pennsylvania spinning for a few days in the dirt. He's chomping at the bit to go someplace. Then I got a call from a guy who wants me to pick up some lawnmower blades from him today. <clears throat> in Norfolk. So I'm headed to pick up the lawnmower blades now. And the lawnmower blades aren't too far from the big rocks at the Motel 8. So I think I'm going to shoot in there. After I pick up the lawnmower blades. I got the uh, rockinator with me. Digging those big old rocks. I know my arm, I hate it, but I'll be able to do some prying. Stand by for a low tide. Well, I picked up the lawnmower blades. I, I take you a picture of them when I get to the uh, parking spot where I'm going to go to the beach. There's some weird looking lawnmower blades. There's three lawnmower blades on one blade. I mean, on one lawnmower. Look like I'm guessing two of them are like 19 or 20 inch, and one's like. 17 or 18 inch and they're relatively new but they're just not very sharp he wants them sharp but they're sharp for, for a lawnmower blades don't get me wrong but you know how it goes stand by this is the shortest one You can see they're in relatively good shape. A few little dicks, dings along like any lawnmower blade would get. He said they cut the grass maybe ten times. And you want them sharp. Okay, stand by. Rockinator! Rockinator, I say! Mmm. Eight pounds. Heavy duty Rockinator. Mmm. I'm not sure what we're going to find over the top here. The tide's uh, low in about two hours, maybe two hours and a half. It's not as low as I want it to be, I can tell you that right now from what I see of it. No. Hello. Get your ears anyway. How about I forget about the ring finding business this year and keep the lock business going? That's another lock. That's like three or four locks so far this year. God! Look at that sucker. God! This is the nicest sound we had all day. 12 14. I know this rocket nade is a heavy ticket. Ooh, good job. I see some odd here. That's it. I'm pretty sure that's the 1214, whatever the hell that is. Let's make sure to dump that out. Yep, 12, 13 now. Ain't that some piece of crap like that? <laughs> At first I thought it was a quarter, but it's whatever it is is really, really light, like a like a token or Chuck E. Cheese thing or something. You know, I don't know. Maybe I get it cleaned up. You can see it's got some kind of design on it or a picture or looks like a guy oh yeah I can see it's a president maybe Ulysses S. Grant I don't know but it's not a coin it is the lightest coin I ever seen Uh, 
stand by for a later observation. Speaking of observations, there's a fine one right there. Well, about two hours has passed. You can see the tide is uh, getting off good here now. I haven't been on this side yet. Nice, nice rock. What do you think? <clears throat> Just right for the rock in there. Hard, hard walking in them tickets too, I can tell you. <clears throat> That's where I've been working. Right in through there. Bullets and pull tabs and crap. And taquitos. Let's see what's over here. Beaver, I just got a text from Beaver. He's putting in at the cave. Or just the shade east of it. <clears throat> I don't know where the ring man's going. Roundup, Rancho Max. Big rocks. Motel 8. Looks like ammo was the best of it. And pull tab rings. And aluminum. I don't know what that is. This is a gauge of some sort. <laughs> that coin, is, it's an aluminum coin. It says, uh, I think it's Theodore Roosevelt. And on the back it says something precedence coin game. But it's in bad shape. One maker dime. Uh, rings in the scoop, though. Uh, the ring man went to the land of Nada with two other guys. Uh, one got a junk ring. The ring man got an earlobe ring. I have some pictures at the end. Doc Beaver, he went. He went east to where I went. He went to the cave. And he's got gold ring in his scoop with ice. I'll have a picture at the end. Gold, I say. One of these days, I'll find some gold. I ain't going to say when that's going to be. But one of these days. All right. See you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody.